I hope all of you can see the screen, the PowerPoint screen that I have put up on Zoom. Yeah, okay, great. You can put your thumbs down, Shivali. So as I said, the Trident Edge is not just another course, but a learning journey. What does it mean that a course doesn't stand with any commitment? But our differentiator is very simple. We are here with a commitment to make you practice ready, whatever it takes. And we'll get into what all we provide to make you practice ready. It is modular and easy paced for applications. So what does it mean? You complete module one, you get about a month's time. Only this time, module one and two are together because there's a backlog. A lot of people want to do it. So otherwise, between module one and module two, there's a gap of normally a month or so. Between module two and module three, there's a gap of another month. And after module three, you get a month to complete guided projects by which you can get certified. Point number three is very important that please understand that the practice of healing and transforming lives with batch power is very, very scientific. There is no space, no room for any mysticism, any theism, any spirituality. It is all very scientific. So when you go through the course, you will learn to know the science. The reason I'm saying that when it is scientific, it is logical. And when it is logical, it is easy to understand, relate to, remember, and put in practice again and again. Otherwise, whatever is mystical is very, very personalized. And there are no, there are no laws by which it is practiced. People take their own arbitrary route to practice. I'm not saying they're not effective, but that's not the way to go about. Also, please understand that in some countries, it is not recommended that you go through your own personalized arbitrary way of doing practice the law don't allow they expect you to have gone through formal education and come out with certification after having been mentored by somebody and this is not certificate of completion but certificate of practice which is what we provide you once you complete it and thereby they make sure that it is safe and more than being safe, it is complete, and the client, any which way, is not being deprived. Please understand that. Hands on practice and guided by a master coach. These two are very important. If I was just sitting here and giving lecture when the course is going on, you will not take anything. Believe you me, lectures put you to sleep, they, they're not meant to make you learn. When you do something, when you experience something, that is when you learn. And through the entire course of three modules and even, of course, the fourth one, which is certification, it's all applying what you learn. And then from the application, again, you draw insights and dovetail with the knowledge that you have gathered. So it, it goes down deep inside. And by the time you graduate, this learning journey and you get into certification and you move out of certification, you are well equipped to go out and practice. I was so uh, delighted. We have a support group of practitioners and every now and then there are cases which put up, which are put up. And I was so delighted the other day, somebody from UK had put up a, court, a case. And the kind of insights and the kind of recommendation and advice people were bringing up, I felt very, very delighted, proud, and humbled at the same time. Why? The reason is all that they learned was hands-on. They learned what doesn't work, hands-on. And then they learned what works, hands-on. Uh, the advantage 
for beginners is that you get it right the first time. You don't have to go and break your head with different places to different people, with different modules, with different courses, and only to realize that, okay, I have learned only some bit of it, or maybe there are certain things I have learned which are not 100% right. For those who are practicing, those who are not beginners, they get a chance to unlearn certain things. And when you get into the course, or maybe when we discuss the course content, you will get to know what are some of the things that you need to unlearn because the, the practice has gone through three stages of evolution. Much of what was valid 50 years back is not valid anymore. So you need to unlearn that. And of course, demystify much of what was mystified then. This is, please understand this practice is based on humanistic sciences. And a lot of people who don't have any idea of humanistic sciences have based it on theism, on theistic sciences, on theism and spirituality. Now, that's not right because that mystifies the entire thing. So, those who have been practicing on, the, on that basis now get a chance to demystify, unlearn, and learn the absolute scientific and I would say short of technical way of healing people from the root with batch power essences. So there are these modules, four modules, and each have some objectives. I will quickly take you through the objectives and then I'll get to the description of each module. The first module and here is the first departure from what you get to learn any, at any other place. The first place is not a learning journey, it's a learning course, but here it's a learning journey. And throughout the journey, you will learn that each batch flower remedy, it, it just not addresses a, a, a bunch of symptoms. But if you look at those symptoms and connect them, you will find a core. A core which has to do something with the belief, the limiting beliefs, or the shadows, or the conditioning of an individual. So then you get to know, oh, okay, so this remedy does not just heal the symptom. It heals the basic root from where the symptom arises. Now, that's an additional thing. That's a new perspective. You won't get it anyway. The second one is about interrelationship of emotions. Now, very often people come to me for consultation and tell me one, two, three, four, five, six is happening. Can you give me some remedies? I said, sorry, I can't give you. Because what you have reported are six symptoms. What I need to find out is the interrelationship of not only the reported symptoms, but possible other symptoms which could also be reported, or sorry, related, based on certain laws, and heal them for that ailment or for you as an individual to be healed completely. Now, this is what you get to learn in this module, applying tracks, the interrelationship of emotions and therefore the remedies that heal those emotions from a very, very humanistic standpoint. Once again, know the client. I think this is the crux of the entire learning journey. Knowing the batch flower remedies, 38 of them only, very soon you will get to know them. But a population of 8 billion this world has, right? And each one is a unique individual. Is there a framework? Is there a tool? Is there a method by which we can apply these and get to know the individual? Because unless I know the individual, how do I get to know exactly which all remedies to be brought out, to be combined, and to be administered? And it is not so straightforward because human beings are complex. The remedies are simple, yes, but human beings are very, very complex. The human mind is very complex. So this 
module. There are a lot of people who have gone through it and they have come out saying that it has been very comprehensive. I'll share some testimonials with you also at the end. And finally, guided project work, which as I told you, will give you a certificate of excellence in the practice of healing and transforming lives with backstar essences. Not easy. You need to make three project reports and iterate it till it co comes right according to certain template. And once it comes right, you right, you become eligible for certification. So here are the module description. If any of you want to understand anything more over here, please ask me. I just leave it for you to read, or if you want, I can read it. That's our remedies inside out. That's module one, root of each remedy, uncommon symptoms of common remedies, how to select the right remedy when multiple remedies seem to be addressing the same symptoms, how type remedies heal a persona. Now, out of the 38 remedies, there are 12 remedies which are called type remedies, and they are brilliant. They heal the entire personality. Somebody is uh, trying to hammer something. Can you put the microphone on mute before you hammer? So though this module is over two days, two hours each day, normally 6 to 8 p.m. per day. The second is applying tracks. This is tracks are a, a, a framework a set of methodologies where you get a complete em emotional landscape of the individual right at the beginning. You map the emotions in the tracks and you get to know, oh, okay, so this, kind, this is the kind of healing journey the person has to go through. How to stage the process of healing to avoid any unpleasant reaction. Now, this is important because not all batch remedies can be given right at the beginning. When you go through this module, you'll get to know which remedies can be given right at the beginning, which remedies can be given later, and therefore spare the client of any unpleasant surprise. How to do predictive diagnosis using tracks? This is very interesting that, as I told you, the client may report certain symptoms, but if you know the tracks well, you can predict very well, oh, okay. So there is this particular emotional layer which is not showing up now, but maybe in a few weeks' time that will show up. That is the level of depth you can go into using the tracks. How to make harmonious composite that heals specific conditions safely and effectively using tracks. Now, as I said, you can't just mix any and every remedy. It's, it's like music. You can't put all, all the notes together randomly and expect music to happen. There is a harmony that is required. And here the harmony is required for maximum effectiveness of the composite, not each remedy. So the composite is more effective than the sum of effectiveness of each remedy. And that is the art and science that you get to learn over four hours, over two days in this module, applying tracks. Know your client. Look at this. Even before you get to understand the client, you are taught how to sense the client. The client is sitting in front of you and talking or maybe on Zoom. And in 15, 20 minutes, you are able to sense what is it that the client is actually talking of. And in the process also build a trusting bond. Then you get to learn how to probe using a certain structure, a four-layer structure, a four-step method to completely get all the difficulties that the client is having right up to four levels of diagnosis. Or actually, it is not four. It is much more than four. You also get to know how to diagnose physical ailments through psychographics of physical ailments. Another very interesting science. And that flower remedies, as we all know, addresses the emotional state. But these emotional states, if they are left unsealed, precipitate into physical ailments. So therefore, there is a link between emotions and physical ailments. 
And once we are able to understand the psychographics, we should be able to heal the physical ailments with batch car remedies. And how to carry out periodical reviews and stage the treatment. So, because this is not just one consultation. Month on month, you need to review, do a fresh consult, make a fresh composite, and set the client on a healing journey because stage by stage, the client gets healed. Guided project work, I have already talked about it. You need to follow a template, and the certificate that you get is endorsed by IPHM, International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine UK, and it comes with a lifetime validity and is worldwide valid. Now, this is something additional. Your journey never ends. The moment you complete all the modules, you are added to the support group that I talked about at the beginning. And there you can discuss live cases, you can get perspectives, you can give your perspectives, and thereby grow and learn continuously through your lifetime. So I don't know Anup, how, much, how many of you know that before I started my bachelor of practice, I have been quite an accomplished uh, learning facilitator, a coach, and uh, somebody who has helped people to learn. So I bring in all my understanding of learning methodologies, and I have integrated that in this learning journey. We do small group work in, 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 on Zoom itself. We, we break the group into small groups, and they do their discussion, they do their experiments, come out with their findings. We do brainstorming. I think there's a spelling mistake. Please pardon me. In the large group, guided inquiry where a question is put to the group and guided to understand the question and then respond to it. Lot of role please happen. So the entire process of consultation, both in terms of sensing the client, asking question and doing diagnosis, all three is through role play. You learn through role play. There are times when I also demonstrate, of course, peer feedback is given when people do consultation for each other, they give feedback for each other. And finally, there is something called live role plays, experiencing the reality. You actually get an opportunity to, in reality, do consultation for people and make prescriptions for them. Can you imagine such a rich pedagogy? So what are the Trident Edge advantage? By no, I think you know what are the advantages. I think the first advantage is there's a promise that you become practice ready and you become practice ready. So as I said, that the practice has evolved over three stages. What you get to learn is the latest, not the old way of doing things which many people are doing, and therefore it is suboptimal. You get to learn the nuances of human behavioral science and dynamics. Now, this is my strength. I bring in about 15 years of hands-on experience on humanistic sciences and applied human behavioral science. And that's what you get to learn. Because with that, your power to heal the human being with the help of the remedies gets multiplied several times. Sessions are hands-on, interactive. We talked about it. Learning continues even after the course through the support group. We talked about it. You learn from the best. I'm not talking about myself. People have come and talked about it. You will get to hear from the testimonials. And this is one journey. If you have completed and you're on your ongoing support, you don't need to go and invest anywhere else. I repeat, you don't need to go and invest anywhere else. As a matter of fact, you are given several handouts, and my recommendation always is just read the handouts. Don't read any book because obviously the books, the kind of content that they carry would be outdated. What is there in the handouts is absolutely latest and coming out 
of not only our research, but a lot of practitioners who have put in their state of art research in the practice and made it more scientific. Yeah, you get multiple handouts, as I said. For each program, you get a handout, if not more. You get certified, which is a valid certification across the world. And you don't have to renew your certification. There are, there, there are institutions that certify you, but every year you have to spend money to renew it. The other thing we made it modular for was because the earlier program, which was one single uh, one single workshop many people found it not so affordable so we broke it down into modules so that it becomes more affordable so that's the last part of it of course the return you can guess is phenomenal those who are practicing professionally have come back to us some of them have come back to us saying that in three to six months time they have been able to recover the investment that they have made in this journey. A little bit about myself. This is the most difficult time. I can't talk much about myself. You can read the slides of your own. If you have any question, you can ask me. It's been a very long journey, all I can say. And today, healing and transforming lives with that kind of senses is my second nature. And what I come to you with is all that I have. I put it across to you for you to take away. And I make sure that you take away. That's the other thing. It's not that I, I, it's, it's, I, I serve you a wonderful dish and you are not able to eat it. No. I make sure that you eat as much as you want to eat it and take away and digest it and use it and grow and become more nourished as a bachelor expert. <laughs>